Hello and welcome to the Wearable Technology Circuit Playground Express workshop presented by the Mount Royal University Library Maker Studio. My name is Audrey Birch and I will be your facilitator and presenter for today. The learning objectives for this workshop will be to cover what wearable technology is. Then we're going to discuss what the Circuit Playground Express board is, and we're going to open the makecode.adafruit.com interface, and we're going to do some programming in a visual programming language. Wearable technology refers to technology that is electrically powered and designed to be worn on the body. Often designed for aesthetic enhancement of clothing, tracking the environment and interacting with the environment, as well as communicating with other information, such as incoming or outgoing data in the form of infrared signals, Bluetooth, etc. Adafruit is a company that develops modules, microcomputers, and microcontrollers for use in electronic systems, mostly for the purposes of supplementing the needs of makers, electronic designers, hobbyists, and just the beginner who's interested in learning more about electronics design. For this workshop, we will be using the Adafruit Circuit Playground Express Board, a $20 microcontroller that's easily programmed in various ways. For this workshop, we will be using the online IDE supported by Microsoft MakeCode.com. What are you going to make your wearable do? Electronic devices often take user input, compare it to what you've asked the microcontroller to do with those inputs, and then program an output of the desired operation that you've decided you want it to do when those conditions that you were tracking have changed or been specifically met. For example, inputs and outputs are usually in a state, on or off, high or low, sensing voltage or the environment, etc. Inputs are triggers like buttons, light sensors, a PID or motion sensor, as well as other sensors. Outputs are often sending electricity where the result of a decision is made, the outcome, etc. Outputs can be LEDs, motors, servos that are positioned to a position such as um, 90 degrees, 0 degrees, 180. What is a microcontroller? This workshop will cover the Circuit Playground Express, and this is a microcontroller that the company Adafruit manufactures. It's easy to use, easy to understand, and this allows first-time developers, programmers, and electronic designers to create interactive and wearable or not devices. It's easy to program with visual block code, and there are additional ways to program it in JavaScript as well on the online IDE. I believe it also programs in CircuitPython, another language that you can use to program this microcontroller. Use built-in sensors such as the onboard built-in sensors, or you can also solder onto the board your own input and output pins and address them with programmed code through the A0 to A8 pins. And you can see those are these, um, they're the gold pins, the gold pads, they're called terminals and they circle around the board. So that's where you'll attach a wire if you want uh, to solder it to, or an alligator clip will work. What's on the Circuit Playground Express board? We're going to go through the inputs and outputs of this microcontroller. For inputs, we'll start with button A and button B. Button A and button B are seen in the middle of the board there, and they're the little uh, silver square with the black dot in the center. So those are buttons. Uh, there's also slide switches, which can toggle states. You can slide it to the left, that's A state, slide it to the right, that would be state B. There's an infrared receiver, which can receive infrared information in the form of numbers, mostly integers. There's a light sensor, and a light sensor is an electrical component that can determine and sense how bright or how dark a room is based on some electrical principles. There's also an accelerometer and a gyroscope on board to be able to determine how fast somebody's moving and also the direction in which they're traveling. Are they moving up? Are they moving down? Are they moving to the left or the right or forward and back? There's a microphone that can determine the intensity of like volume or sound that it's reading. So if you yell at it, it's a higher intensity than if you were to whisper at the microphone. And there's a temperature sensor on board. There are also outputs that were built into this board. 
there are 10 neopixels. And what a neopixel is, is it's a special electrical component that consists of RGB LEDs, red, green, and blue LEDs, and it is programmed through a data signal that tells those little pixels, those LEDs, how bright they should be in an intensity between 0 and 255. That value equates to a color, and so these LEDs can be blended to be any color depending on how you send the data, what data those NeoPixels receive. There's the speaker, which can emit sounds. It's a piezoelectric speaker, so it's a bit, um, it doesn't have a great sound quality, but it's cute, kind of like those little 8-bit synthesizer sounds. There's an infrared emitter, so you can send data through an infrared data signal, which is again integers, consisting of pulses of ones and zeros. That means that you can communicate between one circuit playground express board to another. So you could have a friend that has one on your jacket and you have one close to you. And if you press a button um, or if you become close in proximity and then the infrared sing signals are received, it would potentially light both of your shirts up. So that's kind of a cute, cute thing you could do. And if you want to, you can build your own electrical circuits, those low voltage circuits. So you'd have to build an electrical circuit that's only 3.3 volts of electricity. And you can connect them to the microcontroller. So when you program it, it will send electricity to your, your circuit so that it can do something. There are workarounds, of course, to upstage the power, um, but you can use these, these connection pads or terminals as triggers to turn on large relays that can upstage the power. A relay is designed for um, mechanically turning on a higher voltage signal. So if you wanted, you could plug this in um, and just have it connected to a relay from one of, your, one of your connection pads and turn on a light in your house or turn on a motor or even turn on multiple motors and drive a small robot. <clears throat> At this point, we're going to take a look at the IDE. So please visit makecode.adafruit.com. We're going to click on the new project to begin. And this is the view of the IDE at the very beginning. So for those who've programmed in Scratch, this might be something that you are familiar with. It's block code, uh, drag and drop code that um, is symbolic to programming syntax and structure and program flow, but it is visual so that it is easier for you to use without having to memorize things that are um, conventions for actually programming. And um, it's a great way to learn about the theory and the fundamentals for programming before you actually use a programming language in an official IDE as it's less, um, frightening, threatening, intimidating, you fill in the adjective, but it's easier. In addition to programming and block code, there's a slider at the top of the IDE. So this software that we've just opened, makecode.adafruit.com. And you can click on the JavaScript tab. What I advise you to do when you're first beginning is to build it in block code and then actually take a look at JavaScript. And you can become a more proficient programmer and you can see what it, what it looks like to program this with Java by looking at what the block code translates to. So for your first program, I'd like you to try just to test your onboard LEDs. And we're going to use the accelerometer in this example by finding in the input section, which is the pink section of the IDE, the onshake function. And then what we want to do is we want to go into light and we're going to pull out an outcome. This is the output. And this is what the on shake function is going to do when on shake condition is true. So this is what it should look like. You'll see this on the uh, right hand side here. It's on shake. Then you're going to nest inside of the on shake block of code. Just a ring. You can change the colors by clicking on them and just selecting some colors. And once you've done this, what I'd like you to do is press the play button. So you'll run your code. The play button is located underneath the, um, the icon or the symbol of the, like the simulation of the Circuit Playground Express board. So you'll just press that and that will run the simulation. 
And finally, we want to end on downloading the code and installing it onto the microcontroller itself. Click on the download button and then plug your device, your CPE board or Circuit Playground Express board into your computer. Double click twice on the reset button on the microcontroller and it should say C play boot now on your file name for this device. Find the file that you downloaded from makecode.adafruit.com and simply drag and drop it into the file device C play boot. Now when you shake your microcontroller, the code is loaded and look at that, the lights are lighting up nice. We've come to the end of our workshop today on programming the Circuit Playground Express board. If you'd like to attend additional workshops, please take a look at the rest of this YouTube channel, as well as attend one of our events in person. If you can, um, this is the URL that you will visit to sign up for uh, one of these workshops. For more information or questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you so much for attending this workshop today. Goodbye.